Yo, what is up guys? In today's Final Cut tutorial, we will be keyframing pictures, text, and even videos onto our intended video. Hey guys, it's Scrunchy here, and today I'll be teaching you how to keyframe. Now since we already know what keyframing is, I don't think I should bother explaining myself too much about it. But essentially, a keyframe is basically that one millisecond that makes up that one frame of the video. Now that's enough talking and let us begin! First we start off by creating a new project. Let's call it keyframe. Now we import the videos we want. Drag the video you wanted to keyframe on it into the timeline. Yeah, so in this video, I want to make a picture appear, then just move frantically around the screen while I punch it out of the screen at the end. So now I find a part of the video where I want a picture to appear. And then I go to the picture button and look for the picture I want. And drag it on top of my video. Now I resize the picture using the scale button and place it where I want to appear. Alright, now let me just touch up a few things over here. Alright, now make sure the picture is clicked on and set the cursor to the start. Now we go to the inspector window under video. Now we scroll down until we see transform. And click on all four of these buttons. These just make sure that in every scene the picture looks the same as you set it for that particular frame. Now on the keyboard, press shift right. This just moves the cursor a second or a frame or whatever forward. You don't have to use the shift right button and can just click on the frame by yourself but I just use this because it just makes things slightly more accurate. Now as we did before, we're gonna highlight all of these buttons and move the picture in a different spot. Now as you can see, a red line has been drawn to indicate where your picture is going to move. Now depending on how many times you want your picture to move, we repeat this process how many times you want. You can even drag the picture off the screen if you want, or drag it back onto the screen. And now we're done! Yeah, that's pretty much how to keyframe in Final Cut Pro X. This also works for text and videos, where the same method applies. So once again, I'm Scrunchy from Red Black Productions, and if you have a Final Cut request, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Laters!